What you got there, Toddy boy? What I don't know, but it says it's a gift, and it's oh yeah, it Italian. says fragile. It could and be anything there. It, it could be bowling alley. A gift, Rob, mm -hmm. and it's from Jeremy. It's, Jeremy. A, major, it's a major award. <gasps> it's gift wrap. Do not open till Christmas. Hey, who's there that from? Are. Hello, Todd and crew. We've been a big fan of your YouTube videos. And a long-time subscriber just wanted to send out some gifts for anybody to enjoy. Thanks, Todd, for your time editing the videos to give us fans entertaining and informative content. Happy holidays, Jeremy and Jeffrey. Thank nice. you, Jeremy. Nice. Uh, nice. Guess what, though? If that's food, that means it's not all yours. Look, it's a giant <laughs> candy cane. <laughs> hey, you know what? Any that? bigger, you could really walk with it. <laughs> you can hang that around your neck. We're gonna have some fun with. It. Oh look at the second. Oh. We're gonna have to have some fun with this, Rob. We need a tree for that to go on. You know. Look at them. You imagine the size of the tree. Well, imagine the size of the cavities you get if you ate the whole thing. <laughs> well, what we'll have to do. There's something else in here. Hold on. There's There's that? That? There's something else. Else. <laughs> it's over one pound. Make sure there's nothing. Okay, it's just packed. Ah, up. Rob, mugs for the two of us. Coco for two. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, obviously, Jeremy, I'm sure you meant this to go for Rob and I. It's a mug shot. And not you, Frank. Oh, oh Frank. Yeah, let's see what they look like. It's a very nice round with a handle on it. <laughs> we have plenty <laughs> of like video. We have plenty of games for you to see today, too. Look. That's for me. That's my gift. That's your gift, Frank. Right I'll tell you what, Frank. I'll get this open. Oh, I've been shot. I'll get this oh. open. Let, let's come back and show you some games, and we'll come back. Elias in Texas is getting a duel. Here, Robbie, hold this. Do something. Um, Oops. This is a dual millipede. Braze Technologies makes this great double board. Uh, it's millipede, or if you hold the two start buttons down, it switches over to centipede. Isn't that nice? So play either game. And, let me go. I'm better at centipede. No, you're not. You can also set the switches. Well, I, I, I See have See how good this, he is, everybody? Well, I have something sucks. in my hand. No, I, I can't play this game. I can't play this game. But this game, uh, uh, one of our um, our regular viewers uh, says he rents out. Centipede is his most popular rental game. He said he rents these out for parties. Oh, you just got killed. That's an interesting concept, but isn't that nice? Look, brand new overlay, brand new top piece, yellow tea molding. This is the original artwork Stephen worked his wonders with. It was actually in beautiful condition. He fixed one of these fronts. I don't even remember which one. Um, Stephen's not going to be happy with that comment. Courtesy of Bondo. No, if I can't tell which one, Stephen should be impressed. But it was in perfect condition when I got it. It doesn't matter, right? He didn't need any repairs. Another time. He just painted it just for This fun. one's more spectacular than the last one. Actually, I think they're similar, but I, we wanted to show you. We did this. Uh, the, the little Chris here put in color changes here. He thought that was a nice effect. He added light strips behind this plastic. We've lit the ship, just the, the plane, just like we did before. And we have it in a lamp so you could see the red and green will flash at some point during the gameplay. Okay, and then these other lights are actually on the um, GI. So the LEDs here in the center here are on the um, GI circuit. Isn't that nice? I don't see the propellers twirling, Clark. <laughs> You've all seen Tommy many times. That's why I didn't even put it in the title. Like, look, look at the sides on this thing. This is a regular customer. Oh, Rob, I think he got, we did the Rocky for him. He's Rocky. been waiting a long time for this. He hates me. But now, soon he'll love me. Won't he, Rocky? Are there balls in it, or is it going to go through a ball search? Ah! No ball search! I haven't, we haven't actually done the final play yet. That would help. This needs a lock on the front, gentlemen. The door, that's one of the last things we do. We use a key to, like, lock on the front. I lost the ball because 
Uh, and and far seconds. enough. See how the propellers are turning in, Robbie? Okay, Clark, you're on you're the hook. Jury Rogers did a great job with that game. Is it Brown the greatest thing there is? Wait, you're going to be criticized in a minute. Game is like new. No. Oh, it's really nice. Here. The plastics are now permanently safe. What a great game. Especially when it's rebuilt properly. It's just got a thumbs down for that. We, we have some detractors that just hate us, Robbie. I think actually the person loves. I, I think they actually hate you. Mostly. And they love me. I don't see the little bumper in there. A little bumper pad. Uh, we have to put a pad in. I told this video. Look, look, look what's coming. Look. An overhaul. Oh. Bag! Bag! Until we fix it. It's uh, fixed. I, I can wing it on the song. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. I'll never listen to that song again. He's actually like, come over here. We're in the process of lighting with my patented bendies. Bendies. Oh. Chip, They're you don't really have a patent patented. for it either. Let me tell you, Rob, the bendies thing is just our own name and there's no patent and there's no trademark. It's just a little inside joke. Well, Took out the original red lights. Jonathan, I have plenty of film for the camera. I just Blinking bought an me. extra roll of Kodachrome. Mm. And we're going to change them out. You can buy clear buttons from uh, Marco Specialties and other suppliers. You can buy these light sockets. We buy hundreds of these. This is how we light everything. All the extra holes and such, as you'll soon see on this game. Uh, those are common. That's There's the part number. Okay, you can order them from Marco or Pinball Research. Look what else is coming. We've never done a video on this. So we just got parts to fix this mess. I mean a mess. See, the, the nyliners are all worn out, Rob. So we got new belts, new nylon. It's going to be perfect when we're done. Or else the guy's going to come in. Look at this boy over here. Is that Kurt? That's not Kurt. I'm afraid Kurt's here. I didn't even snap, Rob. Uh, repainted pins, rubber flops, see? So it doesn't go clop when it hits. This has all been reworked. Was this, a, was this an easy one? No, this was bad. But not anymore, is it? And uh, what else do we have? Well, oh, look, I'm holding them. Now, I want you to look at these. Now, what do you think these are for? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Possibly the only one like it in the country. Okay, in this condition. Should we show them? Should we show them? Nah. Yeah. Ah. Let's show them. That's right. This is... Gotta be the nicest one in the world. Look at this thing. The original grips, the original control panel it was near perfect. We put red T molding on it though. We did repaint the sides, although the old artwork wasn't bad. We had brand new artwork made from arcade shop or no um Jeff at Classic Arcades. There we are. Isn't it gorgeous? So we still did, of course we have five new feet on the bottom to hold this weight up, but here's the neat thing. Come back here and look at this. This is why I was so excited. The original sheet, instruction sheet, still there with the original staples. <laughs> Isn't that neat? And then we supplemented with a new power supply, two new um, capacitors on the bottom. We rebuilt the AR3 power supply with all new capacitors and components, and the logic boards have been serviced. We did; these are different though. We did change these, but. Uh, they're in perfect order. Isn't it gorgeous? And, Rob, this is called the Disco Mod. You know what's nice about this, uh, this arrangement? 
is the accessibility. Because now you just open the door, you got full access to the panel. Now, what those nuts are for being inside the game. This is still in it, Rob. So this will protect our circuits. Is it this way, Rob? Mm -hmm. Don't remember which way. I don't think it's that way. <laughs> Jonathan, you were supposed to guide me. <laughs> I was right the first time. See? Are you putting that on now? Yeah. Okay. We're done. All we're right, done. Right, we're because we have to get this ready. Because Jonathan, if we don't ship this out to Elias, he's going to be screaming. Just like that. Rob, people are getting tired of my same screaming animations. So if somebody buys my TNT out and then finances a whole new show, they could do anything they want. Right, Robbie? <laughs> You're supposed to say yes. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's lost forever. No. Oh, no. Well, I, almo I almost that. got. Wait a minute. Isn't that right, Robbie? No. Right, you know why old people... Ah, no, old oh, Robbie, the things. noises. Yeah. He's, he's, ah. cracking. he's cracking just like me. You know like why me. old people... It's so they get exercise. Yeah. Here, while he oh. looks for that, come up here, John. Oh, yeah. Gone forever. You know, John, I could throw I in my paperboy it. footage, couldn't I? and very foolish. We recommend you try it at home. Paperboy from Mindscape for your Nintendo Entertainment System. That may upset people if I do that. Where the heck did it go? Look at this gorgeous picture. Now this is called a medium resolution monitor. I always called it a high resolution because it's so good. He's still fussing with that mud. Crap. You lost junk. Junk. What a wonderful game. Oh, we're too excited because Jonathan is in a dither because we gotta get these out today. Rob, you better find the keys. Or they bought the nut. Or whatever. The keys or you want me to look for keys now or a nut? No, you can change the locks on it yet. Oh, these locks are good enough. The poor for timers him. do here at night. Okay, yes, the locks have to be changed because he's on our master system. We don't, can't get everything done, Jonathan. We're not walking on water. We're eating a lot of pizza. <sighs> Shall we move on? Disco fever. Jonathan, are you ready to deliver uh, John Travolta here? Look at the cabinet. We brought this back from the dead. Now listen. Why? Well, we kept Sorry. this in the warehouse. It wasn't in our inventory because we were contacted by somebody at the studio, Johnny Fallon, show wanted to do a disco fever a disco skit and he wanted to know if we could rent them one so i kept it off the inventory i said you know what maybe someday uh, we'll be able to get it on the show john uh or and and rob i'll just walk by rob's printing up the card here for this. but it didn't happen this is playing slow because it's down on this flat thing it's never happened so a guy came in and said, I really like Disco Fever. I wish you had one. And I said, well, I do. I was holding it. And I said, no, forget it. So we brought it over here. We shopped it all the way out. He'll still have the 30-day privilege of trading in if he doesn't want it. But we got the flipper boots back on. These are those great little um, banana. banana flippers. It's only used on this game in Time Warp. Backlace has been touched up. We have Disco Blinkers in here. Okay. Color cup, few color changers, uh, make it look really festive, doesn't it, Frank? Festive. Mm -hmm. Yes, fast blinkers, slow blinkers, all different kinds. I like the the floor. Todd, it's George with lots of work. Line one for Todd. The money. This is good. And lots of work. That's good. Anyway, John. He's not looking for Kurt. I hear crickets. See? Did you hear it? Johnny, this is ready. <laughs> he just doesn't like this at all. I'll tell you. But look, it did come out nice, didn't it? Oh, we didn't like that, did it? 
Most things don't like it when you touch them. Especially your wife. Oh. Uh, Rob, can you put a lock on the front of this, please? This is actually the customer's fourth game. He had to wait for this. He got the other three. We think he'll be very pleased with it. Uh, if he's not, then it'll be back in the showroom for sale for $24.99. Perfection free. Let's go back up front. We have another package to open. Here we go. That's not how you drink it. You need to add water. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Dry. Make sure you take it out of the package. A little too. dry. And cold. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guys. Thank really you. Really appreciate that. It was really good of you to send. And we have something else. Every year, Rob, I get this in. God, this dries by competitors completely berserk. You know what it is? They go nuts. <sighs> I can see the thumbs down flying over. Because every year, TNT Amusement sets a new milestone. Look, Frank. Our 39 years of excellence sticker. That's right. Now, tell you what. Years, my question, the excellent part. <laughs> hey, what we're going to do. Anybody that asked for our business card, I still have stuff left over. Look, I have 30 year. What's that one? 33. 34. And of course, the, the one we're retiring, 35. So I'll, I'll, I'll tear off a couple of these, one of each one, except the 39. You have to buy a game to get that one. Yeah. We'll give yeah. it to you free with a game. So if you, right there, I'll send you a card, I'll send you some of these, and you can stick them all over your wall. Stick them over your eyes when you're watching the videos. <laughs> Frank! Oh. Alright, we have more games to show you. A lot of more has happened to this puppy. It's coming along beautifully. We got our new drop targets that are going to go in it. Oh, he's been working on the lower play field. And look at the upper play field. Let me show you what we've done. Actually, what Jason has done. Can you do it? See what he's added up here. So this is going to be like super bright. Oh, you Look, two fire ones here. Isn't that nice? And we opened it up. There was not even a light socket. <laughs> this needs a lot of work. But I'm pleased to say it's making progress. And we're going to end. Wesley, look what you're getting. That's right, Dad is buying you a gorgeous centipede. Look at this thing. Brand new overlay. The original monarch glass is near mint. This is near mint. Mint? M-I-N-T? Mint, M-I-N-T, mint condition. That's a, that's a flavor of ice cream. Isn't that a flavor of ice cream? Yes, it is. Actually, before you digress from this, there was a pretty interesting article in Forbes about how the game got the trackball. Oh? And how it got the unusual color palette. Both were kind of by accident. So if you want to look it up. Yeah, that would be neat. And one of the programmers was a woman, which was very rare for that time in 1980. Well, uh, it's got a woman's touch. It's a wonderful game. It was actually by accident that the color palette turned out the way it did. Oh, look. Oh. Somebody put the wrong lid on this. I wondered what happened to this. <laughs> it's the right cash pan, but somebody's put the Superman. I, I have a Superman pinball in the warehouse. Put the wrong lid. I feel sorry for you. No, no, no. Oh! You have my I sympathies. almost put it down on the paint's wet. Here, here, let, let me file this. The recyclers. Idiots. Imbeciles. Okay, let, let's finish with this. Let's finish with that. We have LEDs. We don't use 44s anymore. We put LEDs wherever we can. But that is a new fluorescent bulb. New overlay. Look at that picture. This is how you reset the high scores. You flip the switch here. You come up with a test screen. You can see all the different things. It tells you what's set it easy. We just make sure our trackball is flowing beautifully, which it is. Good. And now, we hold down the two buttons, and we hit this button, and it comes up with the F4F, F, so it's erased. Now it's back to factory. Actually, it was already a factory. Somebody erased it already, some cretin. But now you know how to do it again. When you see the 4FF, you're back at factory. 
factory is a good fit, Frank. Good. Anyway, come back here, Frank. You already know what we do. Power supplies rebuilt. Capacitor. Power supplies. Tons of new parts. What did you change on that, Frank? All the caps. Good. Regulators. Regulators and caps. Minus five. And then the logic board is now getting all great voltage along with our television set. Caps, flyback, flyback, oil, caps. Reheated. It's pretty well bulletproof. Frank, what's the serial number, baby? It's been replated. I, I put a different plane on it. Oh, it's been scraped off. What creep? Now listen, you have to do this. To get to the dumb monitor, they, they put this um, back panel. They use one of those um, nail guns. So we have to take them out, cut the nails off, and then we put four screws. So now, if Kevin, who's getting this... When it fails next week, Kurt won't have any problems changing it out. You know, our games come with a five-year service plan. So if anything goes wrong in the first five years, it's a cheap repair. We have a deductible to come out of the family house, don't we, Frank? Mm -hmm. You do. I was hoping... What were you doing with this thing? Apollo was done. Oh! You leave your, put your toys away. Here it you is. You broke it already. Well, it did crack. When we opened up the box, it cracked. But we haven't opened it. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this apart and serve it. For, for uh... Instead of pretzels? Tomorrow. Guess whose birthday it is tomorrow? Chris Nathan's, who's never filmed. He doesn't want to be on the film. And Jonathan. So we'll film Jonathan's part of the book. Can we get Kurt for Jonathan for his birthday? I guess we could. Isn't that nice? That was a nice gift. So it's, it's made it back here, guys. It's made it back here. And Frank, music. Wesley, it's coming. Good night.